In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a text field in Salesforce. I'll be going over the setup, the different text options, and how to move the text field around on the page layout. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up your Salesforce system, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. In this video, like I just mentioned, I'm gonna be explaining how to add a text field inside of Salesforce. So in this instance or this example video, I'm gonna to wanna to add a text field to my accounts. So I've got an example account here, and when I click onto it, I wanna add a text field that will allow me to just write in some relevant information about this particular account. Now, bear in mind that this can be applied to any area of the Salesforce system, otherwise known as objects. But what we firstly need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner and go to setup. We need to go to the setup page and then we will wait for this page to load. Now, once it's loaded on the left hand side, we want to go to platform tools and then underneath platform tools, go to objects and fields and just go to object manager. Now you'll be presented with every single object inside of the Salesforce system. Now fortunately for me, this is alphabetical, account is at the top. If you're doing something like leads, just go ahead and search in the top right hand corner using the search bar and just search for the relevant object. I'm just gonna search account for an example. And as you can see here, the account object has appeared. Now click onto that and then on the left hand side we'll have a list of options. We wanna to go to fields and relationships. So click fields and relationships, and then we wanna go ahead and press the new button. Now, the likelihood is you'll be pr presented with this screen here. Now, this is not a problem at all. All we need to do is just press the click here to open this page in Salesforce Classic. Unfortunately, the back end of Salesforce is still in Salesforce Classic. The uh, back end has not caught up the front end quite just yet. So go ahead and press the click here to open page in Salesforce Classic. Now, this is where you're going to be presented with a number of different field options okay and i'm going over all of these in videos on my youtube channel so if you'd like to learn how to create a specific field check out other videos on my channel but the, obviously the one that we want to be creating is the text field so we've got a few different options here we've got text text area text area long text area rich and text encrypted now as you can see on the right hand side it actually explains the difference okay so text area allows users to enter up to 255 characters on separate lines however text just allows users to enter in a combination of letters and numbers so this is a really small text field this is slightly larger and then you've got text area long where you can enter up to 131,000 characters you've then got rich which is formatted so this allows you to add text images and links and then finally we've got encrypted so allow users to enter any combination of letters and numbers to store them in an encrypted form so a good example of when you might use the text encrypted is if you are storing bank details inside of the salesforce system or maybe uh, a passport number anything along those lines you're going to want to use the text encrypted field but in this example video i'm just going to use the standard text field so i'm going to go ahead and select text and then in the bottom right hand corner, just go ahead and press the next button. Wait for this to load and you'll then be presented with this screen here. We firstly need to give our text field a name. So I'm just going to call this example text and that will populate the field name. Now we're also able to enter in the maximum length of characters for this particular field. So let's say I only want 300 characters to be allowed to be entered into this particular text field, okay? We then have a description and help text. So if you just wanna write a description about what this field is for and help text when they hover over the I button, that is what they'll be presented with. Now we've got some additional information here that we can choose to select or unselect. So firstly, we've got required. So we can select to always require a value in this field in order to save the record. So this is essentially saying that you have to add information to this field before being able to save the record. We've also got unique. So do not allow duplicate values. And then you can select, if you would like to go ahead with this, treat ABC and ABC as duplicate values case sense insensitive or you could have them as case sensitive. So again, if I select that, I could say A, B, and C capital is different from A, B, and C lowercase. And if I select insensitive, then A, B, C and A, B, C 
are exactly the same, irrespective of whether they are uppercase or lowercase. So again, interesting, useful information if you need it. And then we've got external ID. So we can set this field as a unique record identifier from an external system. This is getting a little bit more complicated and will be used often when you are setting up integrations. Auto add to custom report type, I would suggest you just leave this ticked. And then there's the formula editor here, which I'm not gonna go into any detail on in this video. So once you're happy with the setup of your text field, just go ahead and press the next field. And then you're gonna be presented with this screen here. Now this is where we are able to select who has visibility and access to that particular field. So as you can see, we've got all the different user profiles inside of the Salesforce system, the standard user, system admin, analytics cloud security user. And at the moment, this field is visible to everyone and they all have access to edit it. Now, if we go ahead and select the read only, this means that the standard user can see that particular field, but they're unable to make any changes to the field. Now, if I go ahead and just unselect the visibility entirely, that means they cannot see the field and they also are unable to make any changes to it. Firstly, because they can't see it, but also because they, they just don't have any access. So you're more than welcome to test and set up this as you like for your Salesforce system. And then finally, if you press the next button, you will then be presented with the final page, which is the page layout. If you have multiple page layouts, you can select and unselect which field this particular page layout is going to be put onto. So as you can see, I've only got one uh, page layout, which is the account layout, so I'm gonna leave that be. And I'm gonna go ahead and press the save button. So congratulations, you've now created an example text field. If I head back to our CRM account area, just press the refresh button. You should now see, hopefully, that the example text field has been added, as you can see here, and we can write any information into this, uh, into this field, as you can see, and then just press the Save button. Now, you may be wondering, okay, well, it's been loaded onto this area of the page here, but actually I want it in the additional information. Well, I'm actually gonna quickly show you how to do that as well. So if we head back to our Account Fields tab up the top right-hand corner, what we want to do is go to the left hand side under build and just go to customize scroll down and we want to find the accounts use the drop down menu again and then just go over to page layouts so select page layouts and then you'll be presented with all the page layouts inside of your salesforce system go ahead and press the edit button on the layout you'd like to edit as i've only got one this is the only layout i have as you can see just scroll down and you can see here that the example text field that we just created is positioned in this area of the page layout. It's super, super simple. All you need to do is just drag it and drop it to the place that you would like to position that particular field. So we said we want to put it in the additional information area. So just drag it and drop it, scroll up to the top and press the save button. It will save the layout. And then if we head back to the account page, press the refresh button, you will see that the example text field that we just created has been moved from this area to the additional information area. Hopefully this video has been of value and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully the text field is now all set up and positioned on the page as you would like. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.